We're going to talk to the former governor from perhaps the most critical state in the country right now, the state of Pennsylvania, Ed Rendell. Thank you for joining us uh, right now. And uh, Governor Rendell, can you just give us a sense of where you think things stand in your home state right now? Well, I still think Joe Biden's going to carry Pennsylvania, George. Uh, the vote in the uh, five-county area, which is about 40 percent of the vote in the state, is astounding. In Philadelphia, that this is just the same day voting. It's 254 to 36. In Delaware County, 46,000 to 7,000. In Montgomery County, 110 to 36. And the mail vote, the mail vote, if the mail vote splits, Democrats have voted 1.6 million. Republicans have voted only 550,000. I think Donald Trump will be down in the mail vote about 900,000 votes. So I don't think he can carry Pennsylvania, although he's doing better than most of the polls reflected. What's your sense of how long it's going to take in your state? Well, they're going to start counting the uh, mail vote uh, right after midnight. There, I guess they just started. And they're going to go for a few hours, then they're going to pick up in the morning. My guess is it could be done by Thursday night, but it could carry on into Friday morning. Right. You took some time during the primaries. It took an awful long time for Pennsylvania to finish counting. Well, that was our first experience with mail voting. We've only had absentee voting, and you have to either be disabled or out of the county to vote absentee. So this was our first experience with mail voting. We weren't well prepared. We're better prepared this time, but it's just too many, uh, 2.4 million votes can't be counted because in Pennsylvania, the law is, unlike Florida and North Carolina, the law is that you can only count absentee votes starting at 7 o'clock on the day of the election. We've heard some reports from the Republican side that Democrats are underperforming in Philadelphia and that they believe, at least, that the president is is overperforming, doing quite well in western Pennsylvania in part because of that fracking issue. Are you seeing any danger spots for your side in Pennsylvania? No. no the, the Republicans made a mistake. They said that by 3 o'clock there weren't very many people voting. Well, that's because the early voting was so great in Philadelphia, and there were lines around the block twice at 7 in the morning. Okay, so you're still confident. You believe Joe Biden will win, and you think we'll know by Friday or before? Probably either late Thursday night or early Friday morning. And I think he'll win by about three, three and a half points. Ed Rendell, thanks very much. Taryn Wren, you have some more information on this as well? Uh, I, I do. So the, the count in... Pennsylvania, as uh, Governor Rendell just said, goes county by county, and they do anticipate uh, not wrapping up tonight, but it could take a couple of days. On the issue of fracking, George, I spent some time in western Pennsylvania, both the last election and this one, uh, around Beaver County, just outside of Pittsburgh, where Shell is building a gigantic plant because fracking has just transformed that whole part of, uh, of the state. As, as you know, as anybody who's been there know, it, those towns which were really beaten down after the disappearance of the steel industry have lifted up. We, it was hard for us to broadcast from there because the trucks were rumbling by so much. You can feel uh, the economic activity that fracking has brought to that part of, the, of, of Pennsylvania and in talking to people how much it means to them. And they were genuinely concerned about what a Joe Biden administration So they didn't buy his denial that he would ban fracking? Uh, they did not. They, I, I don't think they liked the, the, the sense that he dipped his toe in the water at all uh, because it is it has lifted up communities that have been ground down uh, almost uh, into despair. And now it's, it's a boom land right now. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.